What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to be testing whether or not the EX stones that we got for Gato were actually going to work on this character. And we're also going to be testing to see if they work on other characters as well, because I've been doing some unequipping and equipping on different characters with these EX stones, and I'm noticing a little trend. And the trend is whenever you equip these EX stones on other characters, like, say, Ramlethal, guys, a character that is not an SS character, that is not an EX character, nothing, right? She's just a, you know an all-star character, a collaboration character. When you equip one of these stones to her, her stats actually go up. So watch this, right? I will go ahead and unequip this thing. Okay, now look at my stats. I just lost 6,400 CP. Huh? Now, why is that? Why? It shouldn't be doing that, right? These stones have never worked on our characters in the past, but it is increasing her stats. If you look at her attack, right now it's at 50,000, right? It's at 50,000 attack. When I take this thing off of her, okay? When we go back up, now it's at 43,800. So when you see that, you think to yourself, well, that stone, it's got to be working on her, right? It's got to be working. Whenever I see that, it's got to work, right? So it, it, this is, this, I don't know if this is a bug or what this is, but these stones never did work on our regular characters before. They would only work on EX characters, okay? So I've got a stone equipped to Gato. We're going to go ahead and see if there is a damage difference in Dungeon of Trials with these stones, which is really funky. I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got going on with uh, Gato here. We are using the Akane set, guys. There is a little RNG with the Akane, but it won't be too much. Now, we're going to test him without a stone, and then we're going to equip an EX stone to him to see if his damage actually goes up. All right, so we'll jump out of here, and let's get to it. Let's see what happens here in this little test. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Hodoru. I'm just going to bring her in. She just apply some chill. It's just going to allow us to do a little bit more damage. Okay. All right, and just like always, we're going to wait until we get down to one second on our Awakened skill and just start running through his skills. And go time. Now, evidently, Gato's... Uh, from skill does miss sometimes, which is kind of a bummer. That's something that I didn't even notice uh, in my initial testing. So shout out to all you guys that actually noticed that. So we got 69,000, right? We're just gonna let the starlight fade here. And since it's all right, so we got 69,000, right? Or 69 million, my bad, 69 million. Now let's equip that EX stone to him and see what we get 69 million okay so come in here slap that stone on old boy all right and yeah and you see his stats go up guys right so let's find out i mean when you see that you think to yourself i mean yeah it should work it should work. Now, I haven't tested this, guys. I have not tested the damage differences. All I've looked at is the stat differences so far. So the score to beat is 69 million. Let's find out. All right, we're going to bring in Hodoru again, make sure this is an even matchup. And I mean, yeah, yeah, it's working, guys. I mean, 86 million, it's working. The stone is absolutely working on him, right? Even if I would have done a skill an extra time, it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. So it does look like it is working. Okay, I mean, it's a good thing, right? Because you can actually unpair those stones and equip other characters, right? And Gato doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have shock and bleed in his kit, so the stone doesn't really benefit him that much, right? Because this increases bleed and shock, but for characters that got bleed and shock, it's actually a pretty damn nutty stone. Actually, a stone that I could slap on my boy Rugal to increase his bleed damage, which is actually pretty interesting. So, now, guys, we're going to test this with Ramlethal. Ramlethal doesn't have any stones on her at all. And we're going to see if there's a difference with her, right? Is there a difference when we use a character that isn't even an SS, right? I mean, with just an all-star character collaboration, right? Let's see if there's a difference here. 
All right. We'll just go ahead and wait. I'm just going to go three, two, one, three, two, one. And boom, let's go. Still love playing Ramlethal. Really enjoy this character. So fun. Use her all the time on my free to play account religiously because of her range. Alright, so we'll let that starlight fade. And just, just waiting for it. There we go. 36 million, okay? 36 million. Alright, let's slap that stone on and see if the damage improves. I'm actually pretty surprised by Gato. That's crazy. Okay. So 36 million is the score to beat. And that's so crazy, man. Okay. Wow. Like I said, I don't know if this is a bug or what, guys. But, like, right now, I mean, obviously, as you've seen with SS Gato, it does look like it's working. I mean, 20% extra attack is quite a bit, so you should see a difference. So, again, 36 million is the score to be here. Alright. I mean, yeah, guys, it is working. It is working, man. Look at that. Right? We did more damage. We did more damage that time. 43 million. Right? I mean... It looks like it is working. It looks like it is giving a little extra something for our characters, right? It does. Now, you know what? Actually, let me let me do one more test with Gato here, right? With that stone. Let me do one more test with Gato. Let's do something real quick here, okay? So what we'll do now is we'll do the Gato. We'll do the X stone with Gato. And then we'll do a run with the uh, Starlight stone that I actually have for him. Come on, here we go. Now, I hit the first skill twice, but evidently it does miss sometimes. So that's kind of a bummer. That's something that Marvel needs to really... Because you really want to hit it twice so you get those extra buffs from it, get that attack buff from it. I mean, yeah, guys, it's pretty much the same score as what we did a second ago. Around, you know, 84 million or so. Okay, okay. So let's slap that Starlight Stone on him and see what happens. That's crazy, man. It, it just looks like it's working. 84 million. Wow. Okay. Let's see if I can find that stone really quick here. There it is. All right, we need to gain a little extra CP from having this one on him. Okay, <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot believe that the EX stone is actually working on these characters. I mean, it's a good thing, I guess. But again, I, it's not going to be the optimal stone for Gato because he doesn't have shock. He doesn't have bleed. And you're actually gaining an extra 2% attack by having this stone on him. But we'll see. So, I mean, yeah, you know, I think I might have done a skill an extra time, but you can see the damage is actually pretty similar. But, I mean, you're still going to get a little bit more damage out of that Starlight Stone just because you're going to have the extra 2% attack. But, yeah, the EX Stone is working on Gato. I mean, I'd say it's it's pretty confirmed. And it looks like it's working on Ramlethal as well. It looks like it's working on her also. But I'm going to do some further testing, guys, to see if the stones actually work on other characters as well. But so far, it looks like the EX stone actually works on any character, right? Uh, at least minimum, uh, fest-wise, right? I mean, it did look it did look like it worked on Ramlethal. It's definitely working on Gato for sure, who is an SS character. I don't even have his change of kit unlocked, and it still was working on this character. So 
I'm going to have to do some other testing to confirm whether or not the stone's actually working on all these other characters as well as Gato. But guys, let me know what you think about the EX stone working on Gato. Do you think this is a bug or do you think this is intentional from Netmarble? And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.